The severe drought that began in the southwestern United States around the year 2000 has led to dwindling water supplies and a potentially catastrophic water catastrophe in that region. In spite of the fact that many local governments have developed effective water conservation measures, they have done nothing to curb population expansion, the principal driver of rising water use. So in today's video, we will discuss the water shortage in the U.S. Southwest and what can be the consequences if nothing is done. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. With water resources decreasing and demand increasing, many areas of the world are facing a water crisis that could affect their daily life soon. Large hydroelectric power facilities that provide electricity to millions of people in the region would have to shut down before water runs out. The loss of electricity and the depletion of water supplies would generate widespread anarchy in the afflicted areas, since they pose a serious threat to people's lives and prompt millions to swiftly relocate out of the southwestern region in search of safer environments. Extremely large water storage facilities have hit new lows. The population of the American Southwest has exploded in recent decades as people flee to the region in search of better weather. Several decades ago, the federal government of the United States dammed the Colorado River into different places, creating reservoirs known as Lake Powell and Lake Mead, which supply water and energy to significant portions of Arizona, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, and California. The two huge reservoirs have been useful for a long time, but with the increasing demand for water in the communities they serve, the water supply is being depleted at an alarming rate. Considering the severe drought plaguing the southwestern United States because winter storms are being deflected north into Canada, this is a major cause for alarm. Water from the Rocky Mountains is diverted to the reservoirs. Underwater aquifers, which have been relied upon as supplementary supplies of water, have begun to dry up owing to misuse, adding to concerns about the future availability of water for communities in the southwest. When it comes to water, the two huge reservoirs are often people's only option. The government's response has been inadequate. In the southwestern United States, some municipalities have done an excellent job of implementing water conservation measures, but government regulations in all levels have been insufficient to prevent the depletion of precious water supplies. There have been no significant initiatives at the municipal or state level to reduce the anticipated demand for water by drastically lowering or halting the construction of new homes and businesses until the water crisis can be resolved. There are no long-term plans to bring substantial and plentiful new water supplies to the southwestern United States, despite the fact that the federal government has done all it can to juggle its water resources to provide short-term relief. For instance, the southwest may have access to potable water via pipeline originating in the Great Lakes. Large desalinization plants along the west coast would use pipes to transport desalinized water to reservoirs in the southwestern United States which is another permanent relief concept. Large-scale desalinization and water pipeline plants would inevitably be expensive and energy-intensive. Costs associated with millions of people having to depart the area because their source of substance has dried up would be far higher. Only a massive organization like the United States government could afford to undertake such a long-term commitment. To lessen the environmental impact of such enormous energy-intensive projects, Renewable wind and solar energy resources might power ambitious desalination and pipeline plants. Now, you must be thinking how this affected people. Let's have a look at it. Why worry if nothing is done? Many portions of the southwestern U.S. face a catastrophic loss of energy produced by hydroelectric dams and of life-sustaining water supplies given by reservoirs if nothing is done to head off the water crisis and if helpful wintertime snow and rainstorms do not arrive. Since power and water are essential to modern living, this would cause widespread disruption, as cities and towns across the country struggle to accommodate a sudden influx of new citizens, the resulting chaos and strains would spread to the areas to which the water refugees flee. As residents fled their homes in the southwest in search of reliable power and water, property prices plummeted. It would have been an instantaneous and devastating effect on people's ability to save money since the value of their homes would plummet. In locations where this happened, populations would plunge and many governments would collapse as their citizens fled in search of safe havens. It is possible that electricity could be restored quickly using technologies like solar power with utility-scale battery backup, but this is highly unlikely because areas without water would be uninhabitable 
Investors would be hesitant to put money into new power supply schemes until water could be restored and people started moving back to the region. So, this was all about the water shortage in the U.S. Southwest. Immediate steps are to be taken to ensure the water can be restored so people can start living normal lives again. What do you think the U.S. government can do in order to protect the people of Southwest from water shortage? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.